So uh, here we are at Chester 100, um, second, second attempt at 100 mile ultra this year, first was Liverpool to Manchester double which uh, just about three weeks ago uh, pulled out at 57 miles with stomach issues and what I thought was a calf strain at the time, but turned out to be some kind of nerve problem in my neck that was affecting the rest of uh, the left side of my body. So, uh, got that sorted out yesterday at the chiropractors. Um, and so far, so good. 23 miles in, um, no calf issues, no diarrhea, which is a uh, bonus. Um, stomach still doesn't feel like it used to, but uh, you know you kind of have to take take the rough with the smooth, and it does take a little while just to get back to proper fitness again. Um, luckily with Chester, Chester, I've done uh, I've done the 50 a couple of times, so I know that the first 25 miles is quite sedate. A lot of footpaths, you know, so you can get a decent walking pace going. So, um, and then the middle section's the fun bit. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to getting into the woods, getting into shade. It's very hot today. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's going okay. Just have to wait and see if everything holds up, really. So, uh, yeah, check in a bit later. So, update from the Chester 100, um, about three miles, three and a half miles from checkpoint five, which is at 35 miles. Um, Entering a nice section of the course now. A lot of, uh, lot of hills and nice paths. Through the woods of Delamere, um, and then once you get past Delamere, you're onto the canal for a little bit, and then on our way to Beeston Castle. Uh, how am I feeling? Difficult to say, really. Um, obviously, the hilly sections aggravate. It's tight, but it's, it's a very different feeling from what it was that made me stop before. Uh, apart from that, you know, plodding along. Just uh, went through 50k in just over seven hours. Got a little bit lost at one point. So, pace-wise, bang on what I hoped for, which was seven hours. 50k so nice and slow taking it steady trying to keep hydrated and uh, fueled up
guys don't mind being on film, do you? So, uh, coming up to uh, 45 miles, um, which is an opportunity to uh, have a look at your drop bags and decide if you want to change clothes. Uh, just at the bottom of Beeston Castle, which is uh, just over there. I've run these trails quite a few times, but I don't <laughs> I still seem to be getting lost, which is uh, hilarious. But anyway, um, I feel pretty good. It's been a very slow first half of the race, which is what I set out to do. See if, uh, you know, see if my stomach settled down. See if uh, injuries and niggles and issues uh, kind of improved which it seemed to be. Gets a little bit tight on some of the hills. My left car still seemed to be doing okay. Um, definitely on top of food. I'm not struggling with any food issues at the moment. Stomach seems fine. Um, I think I am gonna swap out my two smaller water bottles for my bigger 600 ml bowls just for the night session really. Uh, checkpoints are further away. It takes the pressure off running out of water at night. Yes you're carrying a bit of extra weight but I think that's um, that's worth not running out of water. So I'll probably pick up my second head torch as well because that's always a nice uh, peace of mind thing having uh, a couple of good head torches or spare batteries, so. Um, so yeah, real familiar territory for me now. Um, I've ran from Beeston Castle, Peckerton, Buckley Hill. You know, I do my hill reps around that area, so. I'm um, looking forward to the next section. Hopefully, uh, carry on with uh, this kind of very mediocre, <laughs> marching pace at the moment but when I do run it's actually quite quite a decent little jog so uh, that's a much better situation than what I had at uh, my last ultra out to 100 because by this stage I was in pain literally hobbling it was brutal so uh, yeah massive improvement from uh, three weeks ago so uh, Big up my chiropractor, thank you. Right, I'll uh, see you in a bit.